Hey guys, welcome back. This is going to be part 8 of my 3D printed in move arm project. Hey guys, welcome back. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Eric. This is going to be a test of my in move hand project. I finally got it to the stage where it's time to make it start moving, and uh, I think I've accomplished that. So what we have here is the in-move hand project hooked to the Arduino. I won't show you how I'm going to hook the Arduino up because you should not hook it up the way I'm going to do it. Uh, we'll leave it at that. Um, in the background, other than the scope and more Arduino projects, this is the MindFlex headset. This is the Mattel game I hacked and pumped the serial data out to the Arduino. In the very near future, I'll be hooking this up to this arm project. I'm pretty excited to do that. I've got some stable results. You can see the the results on the videos in RAW. Uh, I, I recorded them uh, without watching them. So you can see exactly how my brain worked and what I was able to pump out with this. So from that, I'll be able to take the values, pump them, uh, set up uh, triggers in the Arduino to operate the hand. It'll be really basic, it's probably just going to be open and close, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Hey, I, I don't know how far I can push it and how many different variables I can put in. So, I don't know, we'll, we'll see where it goes, but that's the plan. Let's hook this up and let's see if we can actually see this thing move finally. So I've just programmed the Arduino with some a variety of movements and we'll let the in-move hand operate here. See what we get. Pretty good. These are full speed on the servos, no limiting. I'm going to change that code, but uh, that is what we got. No problems. Looking like a champ, actually. So we'll turn it over. And you can see, uh, other than I've got to tighten up the thumb just a little bit, for some reason it's locked off. <laughs> Remember that one. Yeah, definitely got a little slack on the thumb there, but uh, easy fix. So I can actually see it here now. Not sure how it managed to jump time, but anyway. Um, that's the end move, fully 3D printed on my Solid Doodle 2 3D printer, responding very well. Anyway, uh, pretty amazing what we can do at home now. A few servos and some raw ABS filament, open source in move design, freely available to anyone on the internet. Go ahead and download it if you got a 3D printer. You're all set. Anyway, thanks for watching.